if you're looking to see uh, if you're going to be right for trading, if you're kind of thinking the same way that I've just explained, where trading is really just a challenge for you, those are the people who are really going to make it. And honestly, in school growing up, I had terrible, terrible drive, terrible drive for anything that somebody wanted me to do, like go to school, um, getting in the job. I... I've never actually had a job for longer than a year. I've always gotten let go because I sucked at it. I sucked at working for someone else. But when you do something on your own and you have incredible drive for that, and it's the challenge, again, it's the challenge that you need to beat on your own. Those are the people who are going to make it. Those are the people who are going to get to a, a same point as me and they're going to surpass me and they're going to get even better. Past few days just been a little bit lazy been with the quarantine so we woke up and we watched some cartoons had some cereal had a smoothie um, and you know it, it's pretty late now but I think I'll check and see if I can do a little bit of scalping uh, for the day um, but I don't think there's really gonna be much I've been kind of uh, skipping out on a lot of the trading the past couple days there hasn't been really any good setups and we took a couple losers so i just took a break for about a day to make sure that we don't go into any negative this week <music> So I was able to find at least one trade and we just prepped for the rest of the day. I think I'll try to jump on a live stream for Asia Open here actually so that uh, I've missed a couple of live streams just so that the, the, the community can kind of see what's going on in the market a little bit here. But I'll show you uh, just the trade here. As you can see, it's, uh, this is actually the NQ, uh, the NASDAQ there um, and we've just swept right above these highs and I've gone ahead and I've looked down and I said okay well the second we break that this base on the 15 minute level so it's actually just closed at 10 30 um, and I decided to short immediately there uh, just targeting the untested levels around here looking back at this in retrospect um, this was kind of a dumb trade and obviously we got stopped out because we are dumb um, the reason why I shouldn't have taken this is such a momentous move and to really want to get short We should have waited for the break of uh, this zone here. I was actually thinking about this I just completely ignored it when going into the trade so We're just gonna take a little bit of a break and What I've gone ahead and done is I've taken some shrooms just a little bit um, just a little bit of a microdose just to get a little bit more introspective I think having something like this as an option for a trader um, is rather important in some sense uh, every trader needs some sort of uh, rewind some sort of mental refresh when they do start getting into these down swings so that they can stop them very, very quickly. I had a, just a couple trades losing in a row. The market doesn't look super, super good for me right now. Um, so my mind was going into the negative. And I noticed this and I noticed it very quickly. I noticed it after only two or three trades. Um, and that's something you need to be able to do as a trader is when you're on these winning streaks, these hot streaks, you just keep going, you keep trading and when you're on 
a losing streak, you got to first of all catch it very, very quickly. Know that you're on that losing streak and nip it in the butt right away. So what you can either do is stop trading for the day, things like this. Uh, wait till tomorrow until your mind is refreshed. I've got a cat there with me. Maybe your cat helps you. A lot of traders, they could just simply wait for the next week and then the weekend will help clear their mind. What I do is I try to do some things like meditation, reading, going for walks. Walks really help uh, because then I can think with some music going on in my earbuds. So I'm trying something a little bit new here. Just try to take a little bit of shrooms, see if that's gonna change the way I look at the charts. So in the Asia Open, um, in a couple hours here, I'm just gonna look at the charts and see if I can understand a little bit different Now I wanted to talk about something else just quickly, a little bit unrelated. And it's the fact of why we're all doing this as traders. And it's a little bit, you know, introspective because the shrooms are starting to hit me a little bit here now. It took them maybe an hour ago almost, did a little bit of reading. But the reason I realized that I'm a trader is initially you like these nice things, the fast cars, you know, the nice house or whatever. Um, but then as you grow, you realize those things don't matter. They're not important anymore. And for me now, all trading ever really was, was defeating a challenge. It's like kind of like a game. We're trying to overcome this obstacle that nobody else seems to understand. And everybody fails at, and they say it's impossible. And for me, beating that challenge and even continuing on, I still, with these draw these drawdowns, I get into a negative mindset very quickly. And then I worry, I say, oh, okay, crap. Maybe I'm gonna go right back to where I was. And this was actually impossible. And that was just a really lucky, lucky streak of months, right? Um, and then you get this worry. So ultimately it's just continuing that habit of knowing that you've accomplished something that nobody else can actually accomplish. And then in turn, the biggest reward is ultimately that you don't have to sit at a desk job. You don't have to do labor jobs, all this stuff. Uh, I don't have to do IT at work anymore. I can sit here and enjoy that and that's the biggest reward and it's not actually the things if you guys see I have a nice view my apartment isn't that good in itself as I just really like the views I just really like the nature because that in turn helps me trade even better because then I can relax better so these things they don't matter like honestly I don't even I don't even drive and I have a car and it's just a Mazda but I might, I might get a car later on, but I don't really see the purpose right now. Those things won't make me happy. What makes me happy is accomplishing tasks, accomplishing difficult things, similar to why I grow this YouTube channel, because it's a, it's a challenge. So I'm just finishing off the week. I've closed off all of the trades and we basically broke even, I think the Challenge account made $1 this week. Um, the final day, it seemed to go pretty well. The groove was really nice um, after having a little bit of a relax there yesterday. Uh, so things were, were going really well. A um, little bit of retrace back on us and then I just ended up closing it all out. So it's the end of the week um, and that's about it. So I'm just gonna finish watching up uh, a YouTube podcast there, Chat with Traders, and then uh, I think that's all for the week. Listen.